Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principle. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in my addition, in addition to my last video that I posted just a day ago and we haven't even started, we just have started trading. I did some more work and I'm going to actually update the analysis. Uh, this analysis is going to include definitely a repetition of uh, uh, gold I'm going to add on into it. We'll also look into silver I'm going to add into it the analysis. We'll quickly look into Euro, Canadian Dollar and British Pound. Things are looking very clear and I'm going to repeat and add on to it. If you have seen my previous analysis just mentioned, uh, posted just a day ago, that is crucial that you also need this analysis as well. So first of all, uh, things are looking different. Uh, one thing I'm considering, uh, we were considering it as that wave 1 completed right over here, wave 2 and then we were considering this as wave 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That's going to happen probably but in a much quicker time scan as compared to what we thought. So I'm right now expecting that this is going to be wave 3 of 3 because right now we have already completed wave 2, uh, sorry wave 1 which is the leading diagonal, wave 2 and then we have, I'm now right now considering it as wave 1 right over here and it over here. So this perfectly fits one A, wave B and wave C of a leading diagonal and right now that means that we are just above 3 of 3. These waves can be very strong and very sharp so that's what I'm expecting as per Elliott wave analysis and things are looking very strongly in our favor of bearish trend movement. I've seen a lot of comment on uh, on my uh, video posted that I have and a lot of a lot of retail traders are I'm afraid to say on the very wrong side of the of the trading setup. So if you are a bull help yourself and uh, with one thing at least and that thing is that wait for the prices to go above this very important support line which is right now at 1834 and if I was you I will give myself another ten dollar for prices to go above that will I expect I won't expect the prices to go above 1845 <coughs> so this is what I'm right now expecting and previously I was saying that uh, we are expecting wave 3 and right now I'm saying we are still expecting wave 3 the five wave structure is going to happen in a much shorter period of time that's what I'm expecting right now instead of here the labeling was indicating that probably it's going to happen in uh, a, a bit more time period than uh, actually I'm right now forecasting so I've deleted that and to help me with that I'm going to actually say that okay now this gives a much better uh, observation, uh, I mean anticipation what we are doing right now. So we consider it that wave 1 right over here and wave 2 is right over here, wave 3 I can come bring it over right over here, wave 4 could be actually a deep price movement uh, and uh, right over here this will actually retest the support right over here this one and then we'll expect now when I, once I said this video is very important is also very important in silver the price uh, once this is complete I'm gonna discuss silver uh, once we have completed this and I believe that we are going to the long term target is 1250 but this target is gonna achieve which is right now 1450 is gonna achieve very quickly as compared to what we were thinking initially for silver this is very very important move very very important move first of all I gave the price target of 1668 I'm going to revise that target It's gonna be somewhere down in that range but I I realized that I made some uh, uh, basic mistake in the calculation so I am going to revise that target in my next uh, I'll see if I can do that soon but right now we are uh, bearish on silver what thing is very important about silver is that this is going to be the last bottom before we can actually see a huge price in uh, jump in the price of uh, in the price of silver. If you go back and you compare silver as compared to gold, silver is a little ahead in time as compared to uh, when we look at the cycle as compared to gold. So I'm expecting that when this comes over, this will be the bottom of wave three in gold, right over here. When price will be standing right over here, this will be the bottom in silver. That's what I'm expecting. But the, when the jump up uh, occurs in wave 4 right over here, this will be much stronger price action in uh, this will be much stronger uh, price action in silver. Means there is a good possibility that we might see a strong price movement upward. 
all right and then of course when price when uh, gold go comes further down then we will probably see a correction and a further push upward so this right now is seems to be the very very important level for uh, for long term buying if you are a buyer if you are interested in silver bullion this exactly is going to be very very interesting opportunity it's one of those historical moments when we look at the charts and we say okay this was the moment to buy into something so I believe that thing is going to happen very, very soon. And mm, I'm really, really passionate right now about silver. And this is, and I am myself looking for the, for the time frame where we can actually see, uh, where we actually, actually can buy silver at that price. There's this very, I'm going to discuss Joro. We have already discussed that, that we are going to right now uh, treat that. Also, the problem here is that I have, thinking that there is a possibility that when this occurs we'll have to keep a looking on keep an eye on the gold and then there is a possibility that this are we gonna see and you guys see the difference is the see it's the difference in the time frame that I'm giving initially I thought it's gonna take a lot of time but now it looks like the uh, it's gonna happen sooner than expected so I'm clearly bearish on Euro. I'm expecting that the prices are going to go fall down, further down straight away. Canadian dollar once again. I am uh, bullish on the chart, which means uh, Canadian dollar is going to be getting weaker and weaker. So once again, we have completed a very good flat correction, and I'm considering it as a, you can consider it as a five wave structure, or we can consider it as W axe, and then I'm expecting a stronger price movement upward. And so I'm definitely, definitely bullish on the chart. British pound is the one very important one. I thought initially I have done some more studies and I think that uh, what I thought was that we are going to see further push upward in wave C. It gives, it looks to me that we are going to see truncation uh, in wave C. That means that, let me have a look, that means that the correction is already complete. Now if some of you guys who don't like my labeling at this point, I say it's too short in then there's a possibility that we have already completed wave one right over here a correction another smaller degree wave one a correction so in that case that gives you an idea that British pound is coming downward initially I said that it's gonna go up and he meet that target so I wanted to uh, update that analysis especially so right now uh, if you are trading and uh, British pound and if you really love short time uh, trading setups I believe that you can wait for the drop of this price action or you can actually better wait for the drop of this price support. Once this drop below that and this will also be helpful if prices can follow can fall below, uh, beyond, below this support line as well. So it will be a good indication if prices fall this and that and then you can put your stop loss right over here and wait for the prices to fall further down. So this is the thing that I wanted to indicate. As far as the comment section is concerned, my initial concern, my whole concern for the comment section is that if someone is actually going through the comment section, they don't just get pulled into that uh, analysis, which is not mine. Everybody is, of course, the, everybody has the right to give their own opinion, and I really respect that. Uh, just make sure that uh, when you, if you are looking at my channel, my advice is not in that comment section my advice is right on the video that's my big concern that if someone is actually bullish and then they see a lot of comments being uh, I mean someone is bearish in gold and they see a lot of bullish comments in the comment section I hope they don't miss the trading opportunity uh, wish you good luck with your trading I'm really really happy that we're gonna see big drop in the price of gold and uh, I'm looking forward to it not only that we have also seen some very good trading setup in in uh, in silver and we are expecting that silver is gonna actually be creating a very uh, historic moment where we can actually go buy in silver at right over here uh, once again I'll, I'll see if I can uh, does the calculation for the price target and for now let's see let's keep it this way for now right over here and I'm, expect I'm expecting we won't probably creating a new bottom but I'll have to come back with that uh, as long once again as long as price target I'll repeat that euro it is very very good trading setup we have broken the support right over here and we are retesting the support 
so it's a very very good trading setup uh, you can put your stop loss beyond right in this uh, if you want to see previous swing the previous swing is right over here uh, once again I, I don't want to advise exactly to put the stop losses it's a very very sensitive issue so make your own mind Canadian dollar very very good trading setup British pound very very good trading setup we are can see that we have only uh, dropped the prices we have bounced back dropped up again when we have bounced back and this is really really nice moment to go with the our trend with the which is right now bearish uh, you want to see the daily time frame analysis we can also see that the channel was already broken so if you want to see that momentum trading right now the momentum is bearish right now in in British pound wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye